work hard, play harder. I'm heading out to Bruderheim riding area. I've ridden near the area once. Years ago we tried, me and a few friends tried to find it and we never kind of found the area but not really. So uh, yeah, I'm heading out just off the cuff here. It's about an hour or so away from home and I'm going to see if I can find the area. It's uh, Monday afternoon or late Monday afternoon uh, after the Victoria Day long weekend here. So there's just nothing but trucks and trailers of campers and four-wheelers and dirt bikes and everything heading the opposite way heading home for the weekend so looks like I'm gonna miss the weekend rush which is good but uh, yeah so this is the third time I had the old 450 Honda out this year the first time I went to the sand dunes so I'll probably roll some pictures of that I think I got an idea of where I'm going to head to see if I can find the riding area and hopefully get three hours of riding in before dark. So let's try this. Bam, all right. Found it first try. This isn't the parking area I was looking for, but this is a parking area. And it's like really loose sand. So I prefer to be on my old KX250 two stroke for this type of conditions, but. It hasn't ran in a couple of years and got to rebuild the back shock, so we'll run the Honda. See what kind of shenanigans we can get into. Man, it's beautiful. And everyone's, there's just a couple guys riding. Everyone's gone for the weekend, so let's have some fun. All right, camera check. Oversized rads, maybe some different coolant and hope like maybe a fan or something. This thing overheats so easy off-roading. The only thing that sucks about it is it's always overheating. But last time we came here, we were on that side of the river. We could get down to the river, but we couldn't find a way to get across. So 
yeah uh yeah yeah it's just windy sand trails everywhere I'm not sure what else there is for features there's a big open pit up there a few of them i don't know whatever just a nice little evening out oh, bombing around aimlessly not bad this thing would stop overheating would be okay look at that tree man it busted right off wild cool dude Oh yeah. man I just had to get out so nice out I uh, went to the motocross track the other weekend and that, when I got home that day I was messaging other buddies like come on guys better go ride dirt bikes so I think hopefully later this week one of my buddies and me we're gonna go out to this cool place and ride hopefully hopefully we can uh, but yeah I just had to get out today it's nice to get out just by yourself sometimes and just bomb around I got to Either. Well, I think I want to get the KX going for this type of stuff because I don't know. It's it's not made for this type of activity. It's geared too high. I should gear it lower, but it goes, but it just overheats all the time. So, yeah. The 0450 Honda. It's just a beautiful afternoon or evening. Just had to get out, had to ride. Glad I did. I think there's probably wide open spots over there with jumps and stuff like here guys just wailing over there but that's i'm just i don't care i'm just out in a boat enjoying the nature as usual Want to get into this? Ah. Huh. <sighs> well, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be a pussy here. Screw that. Oh, <clears throat> come on. There he goes. Okay. No. <clears throat> Getting a bike stuck in black mud. If you get in deep enough, you're screwed. Okay. Nice and easy here. This is a nice casual evening ride. No use to get no use in getting crazy. Okay. Ooh, okay. There we go. 
whack. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. Get heading down the road, you think we're going the right way? Dead end. Dead end, dead end, dead end. <laughs> oh. Now, that looks like it follows the fence line. Maybe, I don't know, I could either go back or try to go through here and go that way. Hold overheating over here. Friggy diggy sakes. Ah, well, at least it's, it's warm out. It's really warm out. Beautiful evening. Pack up now or head back up for another half an hour. I guess the wise thing to do would be to pack up, but I've never been known to be wise. So, I don't know, I might go for a little boot to stick to more dirt roads. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wonderful evening. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad every time I just force myself just to take some time out to get out on the bike, I always, I always thank myself after. Gotta get into it, boy. Gotta get into bike and shape. The season's here. I never rode once last year. So this year, I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, dude. Gonna get some other bikes going. I wanna get the KX going. The KX is the two stroke. Oh yeah, that's the way to go. So now I know uh, what the priority is on my priority list here, KX. Let's go for a little, just a little, one more little tour before, before I go home. Maybe I only seen like one little corner of that area. I don't know. I don't really know the vastness of that area. Like I roads just like there's so many roads just loop around and dead in and it's hard to really know where you're going. But that's fine. Cause I worked at the shop one time and there's a bunch of guys that are super into like motocross and smoking huge jumps and stuff. And they they used to come out every Wednesday. And they had my old KX in. It wasn't fixed up too good back then. They're always inviting me to come out, and I just never really ever made it out, which sucks because I would have known where to go. Um, they were talking about the smoke and these huge jumps and all this crazy stuff they used to do out there. They must have had a spot where they went. Don't matter. So that was a nice little evening, guys. Uh, Got to get off the fun here for a bit this week and get out of the servicing my welding equipment and get things going again for heading back to work. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching guys uh, hopefully this footage turned out half decent and I appreciate all you guys and we'll catch you on the next one see ya